Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see about the status bits. So let's start. So you can find the status bits over here. So we are having so many status bits. Can you find here? So the first one we are having here is exception bit overflow. The next one is exception bit overflow stored. Up next is exception bit unordered and then it is exception bit BR memory. Okay. And the following four are normally closed contact of the above four. Right. So this is a normally open contact of exception bit overflow and this one is a normally closed contact of exception bit overflow. So now we are going to see these four instructions. Fine. So let's see how to use this. Now, this is exception bit overflow. Fine. So if we are using an integer block, there is some limit for the integer block. Okay. Up to some value only you can give. And what is that value means? It is minus 3 to 767 to plus 3 to 767. Right. So I'll show one document so that you can understand that better. Yeah. So can you see the screen over here? So for the integer, we are having minus 3 to 7682 plus 3 to 767. So suppose if you are using an integer block, take an addition block. If your uh, answer is above this value, then that overflow bit will be turned on. Right. The same thing is for double integer. This is the maximum limit for double integer. So it is plus. This is minus. 21474836482 plus positive value. Got it? And the same thing. This is for real value, floating point number. So this is the maximum limit we can use it for the integer block, double integer block, and floating point block. Got it? So now let's we see this. Uh, let we take the example for the integer block. Got it? So let's move on to our software. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do means I'm going to use one integer block. I'm going to take the addition block. Got it? So in the addition block as usual I'm going to give my address. Right. So suppose if this MW4 value is beyond 3 to 7, 6, 8. What will happen? How come we get to know that the block is beyond the limit right so in such cases we can make use of the status bit to show some indication right so what i'm going to do means i'm going to add one more rung and i'm going to add the status bit overflow right so bit overflow so if this is like an input contact right so i'm going to connect one output here Now let's see the working of this bit. Right. See, now I have given already some values are stored in MW0 and MW2. So the value is in MW0 is 16256. So answer is also 16256. This is within the limit. Correct. So this is the limit below 32767. Fine. That's what the overflow bit is of. Got it? Suppose if I change the value of this. Yeah. So now see if both the values are added. What will be the value? This is beyond our limit. Correct. Can you see MW0 is showing some wrong value? Fine. It cannot be able to add because this is beyond the limit of our addition block. So in that time your overflow bit will be turned on. This is what we need to understand. Right. So the same thing for example if I am changing the limit. I will change this to 78. Can you see this is below the limit 32645. This is below our limit so your overflow bit is 
in a off condition got it so i'll do one more block i'll take here that is normally closed contact of this overflow so i'm going to connect one more output here okay fine so better i'll take that in the next rung overflow bit normally closed contact with one output and that output i'm naming it as q0.2 got it i'm going for online so yes so if you see the third rung it is on why because this is a normally closed contact of ov this is below the limit so automatically this fellow will be in a off condition so normally closed contact of ov is in on condition that's what q0.2 is in a on condition got it if it is beyond the limit let's see what will happen it is also below the limit i'll add 5 more or 10 more yes now see now this is above the limit so ov is on normally closed contact of ov is in off condition got it so this is similar similar for double integer block also i'll take the double integer block md0 md4 md8 got it so i'm going online yes so this is beyond the limit okay when you are adding both the values that will be the beyond the limit so uh, yeah so now this is below the limit it's not beyond the limit that's what your normally closed contact is on can you see the answer 21330740555 so this is below the limit what is the maximum limit of di 21474836470 so this is below the limit that's what this is off this is on now i'll do one thing i'll give some bigger value still it is below the limit better we'll use the variable table here so we'll go to variable table and i'm going to change this as decimal decimal yeah decimal so there is one negative value over here that's what it is consider that as negative one putting it is doing the negative so now see let's change the value here to one four i'll just give the maximum value here 3647 yes yeah so now what i have done i have given the maximum limit in one place and some other random value in the next place so this is showing some wrong answer but how come we get to know this is a wrong answer so by using the status bit can you see the status bit is on because even the output is also not turned on can you see here q0.0 is also not turned on because this is beyond the limit your di block maximum limit is 21474836470 but the answer we got is beyond the limit that's what this has turned on got it suppose if i change the value here i'll just add zero yeah so now what happened this is below the limit this is exactly the limit whatever we have seen 2 power 31 Minus one. So now see, this is below the limit. Got it. So this is how overflow bit will be working. Got it. So let's see what is overflow stored. Fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy. Okay. I'll have uh, clarification for this now. So now only one rung is overflow. So you are capturing that in next rung, and you are. putting the status q0.1 is a status if the bit is overflowed got it suppose if multiple runs are overflow how to get that status bit it is mandatory 
to put the value i mean to put the rung after every rung we need to put ov it will take some more rungs right it will occupy some space so for all the four rungs you need to add corresponding ov 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 okay so instead of that we are having one option that is exception bit overflow stored so let's see what is the working of this i'm just going to copy the same network and i'm putting here so i'll change the address here and uh, here also i'll change the address better i'll give 12 here and uh, 16 here and this is also i'm going to change fine right no instead of ov i'm going to use overflow stored got it right and uh, i'm going to delete the fifth run this ah uh, fourth run i'm going to delete i'm not going to use that so i'm deleting so let's go for online yes now let's go to variable table so again i need to add md 12 answer md 16 right so this is going to be the decimal and this is also going to be the decimal got it so yes so now i need to give the new value here let let i give some value got it oh this is beyond the limit okay yeah so now i have put some value and md16 is the answer for that right now see yeah so the rung 1 already we have seen no that is overflow this is under flow under only this is below the limit only this value is below the limit only but previous rung of network 2 network 1 is having overflow right so if you are using os overflow stored that will be taking care of all the previous rung in in, in any one rung overflow is happening it will be showing the status got it it is overflow is only for the previous rung overflow stored is for all the rungs you have used before before the os got it so for example now i will change the value here i'll change that to 0 so now that will be below the limit got it now see overflow stored is not turned on so status is also off got it so if the same thing if i have used the normally closed contact of os let's see what will happen instead of this i'm going to use overflow stored normally closed contact and one different output i'm going to use i'll use 3 and here i have used the multiple you know outputs so i'm going to change that got it so i'll go online now which which one will be turned on can you guess yes it will be network 4 why because everything is in within the limit there is no overflow happening so that time your normally closed contact of os will be turned on can you get the point yes so like this only we need to use the overflow stored got it yes so here i want to show you one thing imagine i'm going to use a overflow bit here i just want to differentiate the overflow and overflow stored i'll give one random address yes now see yeah now i have used both overflow and overflow stored got it suppose this this block is going beyond the limit yeah 
so this block is going beyond the limit that is not captured by overflow got it but can you see overflow stored is turned on this is the difference between overflow and overflow stored okay so why overflow is not turned on because its previous rung network 2 is under 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 the limit only got it that's what this is not turned on overflow store is on suppose if i go beyond the limit of this that time your overflow will be turned on let's see that yeah can you see now overflow is on that is the difference between overflow and overflow stored i hope you have understood this now let's move on to unordered bit there is one instruction this is unordered bit so what is the use of this for that i am going to take a division block okay so if anything any value which is unordered in that case it will be turned on now see i am going to use the division block yeah so if the mw4 is unordered it cannot be inexpress in it cannot be expressible in that case your unordered bit will be turned on okay suppose if i change the value of this your unordered bit will be off right so this is the working of unordered bit then what will be the normally closed contact it is just opposite to normally open contact right so i'll use one output here actually there is no need to use the output every time you can see the run condition itself let's see that yeah it will ask for output for some cases because this is a input contact no suppose if you have connected any counter or timer that time output coil is not necessary since input contact is empty we should connect one output contact if it is a timer or counter it will not ask for output even though if you are not connecting output it will accept right so what is the now unordered bit closed contact will be turned on right yes can you see normally open contact is off this is on okay so now i'm going to change this to zero see it is on it is off got it so this is unordered bit okay yeah so we have one more is pending that is br memory what is that br memory let's see that br yes so since the time is running out we will see the br in the next session along with your result equal bit uh zero result bit equal zero and remaining four bits are there like this and the normally closed contact of all the bits are there so let we see these status bits along with the br in the next session fine yeah so until then Bye